I stand before you like a beggar knocking at the door of your conscience. My people stand in the dark beside me and we appeal to you to answer us in our hour of need. Powerful member states have attacked an independent nation. We are blockaded by the British and French forces and fascist Italy is advancing upon us with batteries, motors, cannons, yes, even aeroplanes. And we possess none of these. I have offered conciliation, concession, and negotiation. But the fascist dictator openly boasts that he has decided to liquidate our country. He is not refrained from using every modern weapon, even poison gas, against our people. We are unarmed, excepting for spears and the ancient bravery of the Ethiopian people, but we are executed without mercy. No one is spared, neither the old nor the young. Babies choke on the poison air, and the heads of our old men are cut out and paraded into villages to intimidate our people's will to resist. I cannot continue the categories of unprecedented infamies perpetrated on my people. Mr. President, we are a baptized people. This is a Christian assembly raised on loving kindness, hope, faith, and charity. Our ancient faith informs us that there is a better nature in men and nations. Gentlemen, we stand at the bar of history. Men of the West, rulers of this world, we appeal to you to answer us in our moments of need in accordance with the agreements and protocols we have justly signed with you. But more than that, in accordance with the faith and holy heritage that we share with you, our fate is in your hands. My government confidently asserts that nothing is black or white. In addition, I must add in sorrow, one must not be under the compulsion to always be in the moral right. There is such a thing as the moral wrong. The right may at all times be wrong, and the wrong right, depending upon circumstances. It is therefore an inappropriate thing to wish to be in the right, the moral right. if you will, all the time. We are all humans in the hands of God. Why should we condemn each other? No! Forbid it! Mr. President, His Majesty's government submits that a committee be appointed to gather facts and evidence and report back to the council as a date to be determined in the future when passions have subsided. Ethiopia is dead. I will now call for a show of hands on the Ethiopian complaint. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say nay. The complaint of aggression brought by the Ethiopian government against the Italian government is dismissed. There is no oppression. There is no war. Peace continues to reign. This has been officially declared. I see now that they have used me. They have used us. Justice, morality, and love, faith, hope, and charity. It is all lies. But you spoke well, sire. It was of no use. Our people are at war, and the world looks the other way. All that they profess is a lie. 